you say anything like that. We're uh, an eclectic bunch. I don't even know what E it is. It's in motion, you know? It's not static, uh, whether it's on the right or the left. We're constantly swirling around the center, getting a little bit from both sides. Wait, wait, maybe that's you and your conscious yes, face. I don't like any of these politicians. I think they're all sellouts. I think they're all working for the special interest, and I think they'll take any opportunity they can to skin you alive in the Do you, do you think Trump is the part of it? Absolutely, 100%, especially with his endorsement of Big Pharma, especially with him sitting down with Henry Kissinger during the start of his presidency. As soon as I seen that, I said, okay, that's game over. As yeah. soon as he's congratulating and saying how great he is, that's, that, that had everyone's I, eyebrows up. When he was talking about auditing the Federal Reserve, investigating 9-11, releasing the JFK CIA files, he did none of that. I agree, Trump. I, I think this is more Trump got into the office and they, they pulled him they, they pulled away. Trump is, is undoubtedly an outsider. And so there were things I think he was trying to get done. I, I do not believe he's part of the swamp. I think he's his own kind of different swap monster. Maybe That's so. how I see it myself. He got in, like, I've been watching, um, Oliver Stone just released a Kennedy documentary about the assassination. I was just watching another one last week. Like, I think he got in and realized, like, okay, there's really a moving organism here that if I disrupt too much, it will reject me as part of the system. Like, if you yeah. will. I, 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 I wonder, man, I don't think he's a part of some cabal or something crazy like that. I, I really do think that he did the best he could with what he had. But I do think he's, he's in a position where, you know, people expect him to be perfect. And he's not perfect, you know, and it's, I, you know, I'm going to call him out when it's time to call him out. But I do think because of his history and what he's lived through, even a generational gap between us and him, is that some of these things he actually believe are true and necessary. Yeah. Like when he came out on Candace Owens' show and he said, oh, the, the, the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life, I think he actually mean that. The oh, guys that I smoke with in the, in the cigar lounge that are his age or around his age, they all see the world the same way that he does. I... I think Trump was an avatar of the anger of, um, you know, the American working class populists who are sick of the system. And, and as Michael Moore put it, Trump was that human Molotov cocktail. But Trump was uh, imperfect. He's the imperfect avatar. He, he wasn't, he was just that, that embodiment of anger for a lot of people. He did things they liked. You're never going to get someone perfect, I guess. He overpromised and he compromised a lot, but he did try to at least enter some kind of conversation into the dialogue that did make him look like a bull in a china shop. And he did have the corporate media scared. He did have the establishment scared somewhat. You know, he, but I think he also was trying to be liked by them at the same time, and his ego got in the way. And from my perspective, there was a lot of possibilities there, and I, and I think he, he he failed on a lot of those possibilities. But again, I'm, I don't want to be one of those crazy leftist lunatics that has Trump derangement syndromes. When he did something good, I, I always complimented him and gave him respect and props for standing up for certain issues and, and, and making the debates and, and arguments that everyone was afraid to make. So, so you know, let's be honest, anyone who's in power deserves to be criticized no matter what. And we shouldn't always worship celebrities because when we when we do bad things happen. Well, I I agree, and the reason I brought up like the kind of the whatever space this show occupies is that if if we are you know if, if Luke is on this show and looks like we got to criticize all of these people, we're certainly not the ardent Trump can do no wrong crowd. And if we look at what Ted Cruz said, like he's a lunatic, then I don't know who he's going after. Because you know I've seen these tweets where they're like, where's the middle ground between? The, the January 6th was an insurrection, and January 6th was no big deal. And it's like, we, we talk about it all the time, and so do most of our guests. Like, the riot was bad, uh, these people who, who were engaging in violence should be prosecuted, and, you know, we don't want something like that to happen, but it certainly was an insurrection. Of course there's a middle ground. Ted Cruz is not occupying that. So, pandering to Democrats who hate you, and souring yourself on even moderates who think it's a stupid thing to say, I think he's basically just, he, he, might, he may as well have just resigned and said, I'm done, I'm not gonna run again. Maybe that's the plan to flip Texas Democrat in the Senate or something, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's arrogance. Maybe he's just out of touch. These people are corny individuals. Like when you meet them in person, you're like, dude, you, you still got a politician hat on. Do we just sit here talking? Why are you, you know, using certain words and acting like you're in, in campaign mode? Some of these people right. are not real individuals. They, not. I don't even know if they, if they, if they go home or they still wearing a suit and trying to, uh, Campaign to their wife or something or whatever to their kids. I don't know if they're real people. Campaigning to get laid to their right, wife. Right, right. I'm going to tell you why tonight is going to be the best five minutes of your life. <laughs> five minutes? That's right. I won't overpromise. Over <laughs> over <laughs> yeah, no, they are, man. And, and I tell you, we've we've reached out to a lot of politicians. 
and we've been reached out to by a lot, like a lot of politicians have reached out, and it, you, you, I, I feel like even people watch, you can tell. You can tell when there's a Brandon Tatum sitting down having a real conversation, and when there's a politician.